White clouds as far as the eye could see, Mario and Co. had climbed to the clouds and finally reached the over there. Ah, no party springeth forth with welcome us, wondered Love be aloud. It matter not, Father's shrine is just ahead, so we can walk there with ease. But they would not arrive at the shrine so easily as Love be had predicted. Why not? Because something unexpected and dramatic was about to happen. Of course it was. Finally, a bone-chilling tale. Am I the only one who thinks that the bottom text description is kind of outdated? I mean, look at the design for those pipes. We are nowhere near close to that. Soon we shall meet with my father, Granby. Be on thy best behavior. So, Granby's your father. Thou art correct. Granby is my father and JD's my mother. Pray listen. I felt ill once and father never left my bedside. They hath an overprotected side, fairly. I grow annoyed of it at times. But mayhap it is my own fault for being so cute. They cannot help it. Surely. In any case, we we'd better go meet Granby. Alright, over there, Sector 1. Yes, now we're going from stairs to sectors. It only feels slightly different. Luigi. Uh, now, where do we go from here? Uh, okay, wait, nope. Careful. Love B, make sure not to fall. I mean, to be fair, Love B could have- Love B could have easily helped us with the previous chapter. Speaking of which, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are trading subscribers, and people wondering why it took so long to do this intro. Welcome back to another episode of Super Paper Mario. Last time, we reunited with Peach and, uh, I guess got the rest of the gang together. So, what did I just hit? I'm hitting something. We got the rest of the gang back together after finding Peach and giving her a bunch of mysterious fruit. Yes, really, that is the that is the actual definition as to what happened. Anyways, uh, this time we're going to be hopefully taking Love B back to Granby and hopefully he tells us where the next pure heart is because otherwise we're kind of fresh out of luck. Come on. Come on, come on. Okay, wait, no. All right, I was freaking out for nothing. I thought I was gonna fall down again and then I'd have to bring back the counter. Honestly, though, I'd be kind of a no- Yelp! Whoa, oh, what's the matter? Come on, fight back, you big wimp, come on! What's your beef, huh? Oh, friend of the Nims, are ya? Well, then you're an enemy of us. Taste this spear! Buddy, you've- Buddy, if you think this is my first time tangoing with the undead, then you've clearly never Oh my gosh. Easy. Thou hast my gratitude. I know not who thou art, but thou did save me. Much less like saving, more like under new management. Pray speaketh, what happened hither? A pox, fairy. Yon beast hath been flooding thee over there of late. They seek the pure heart. They need it, for thou hast some plan most foul. Y yon beast seek the pure heart? Foulness! Only father knoweth the pure heart's resting place. Father is in danger! I yearn to hide, fairly, but if thou seeketh Granby, thou needeth this key. I cannot help no but pray thee protect Granby. Farewell. Oh wow, there is still stuff here. I for a second there I felt like wait, is there anything else here? But oh no, there is. And gonna Oh no, okay. Oh my gosh, it's happening again. Okay. Life room, life room, life room. I have two of those! Now, you know what? Screw it. We summon it right now. I may as well show this off because I'm never going to get the chance to do that. Okay, point, point at the screen. This is very annoying. Okay, jeez. And yeah, that's how you activate it. Do I have any more ghost I really- I'm really not gonna need that many long last shakes, even though- Long last shakes are, like, particularly good for, uh... Long last shakes are good for when you need just, like, pure- For when you're just going to be taking a bunch of minor damage. Not really particularly going up against something that's going to be dealing a lot of damage to you at once. Okay, there we go. I was wondering how long that would take. Anyways, oh hey, look at that! The ghost room actually follows us around. That's nice. Ghost room. It never. That ghost room was worthless. It existed for the sake of existing, and then it left. Um, 
continuing onward. Oddly enough, these these guys really aren't posing that much of a threat to me. Anyway, oh hey, look at this. This guy is frozen in ice. I wonder what we need to do. Oh, thank thee. Thou hast brought, brought me back to life. Hold a moment. What are thou doing hither? Who am I? Where am I? Do, do I have amnesia? Uh, what to do? Running it back here, we can go and use the door key that we've just received to open up this door. Which, of course, leads us to another locked door. Thank you, Nimbies. Come on. And hop up. There's nothing here. Okay, well. I'm just going to go and fly over here and... Oh, woe oh, is me, my darling mother hath been frozen by brute monsters. I need him. I am Falby, a helpless kitten compared to them. Oh, what shall I do? Thou art kitten, or thou art grand lion. For the lion, help me! Uh -huh. Darling dear! Fair Falby! Thank heavens, yon person help thee. Thou hast my thanks, ye. Pray, allow me to do something for thee in return. Ye fairly darling dearest. What thou move the thou knowest what? Yea, thou knowest what. Hey, Falby, thou art as clever as thou art adorable. Oh, darling dear, tis true, but how'd that go on? They look like the Canadians from South Park. Ah, pray, what my lovely fair... The thou knowest what? Mm, they look like the Canadians from South Park. Okay, no, I'm, I'm done making that joke. All right. I owe thee thine help for operating. Pray thee, let me give thee a ride. Thou going it up, going up. Advanced technology and magic. The Galevator. No, that I can come up with a better name for that. All right, let me think here. Um. Yeah, no, the over there, the over. Wait, I'm sorry. What was the official name of it? The Overator. All right, sure. I mean, I guess it's better than that, but whatever. Oh, come on. Want to freeze me? How shall I get back at them? I feel chilled. Did that save me? Thank thee. Oh uh, wow! I gotta unfreeze a lot of these guys. All right, cool. Man, there are a surprising amount of people in heaven. Whoa, thank thee for thy help. My given name is Wibby. I hold thou for that one. Thou art super. Wibby, speakest of my father. How does he fare? I'm sorry, Luffy. I could not stop yon beast from entering Granby's shrine, and the fiends wrecked the bridge once they crossed it. I cannot reach him. Man, all I hear is crying. Show a little in initiative. Can't we rebuild the bridge? Build it though, thou must find Rebby, Blubby, and Yebby, and get three orbs. Once thou hast them all, we can rebuild the bridge. Take us this and find the others. I beg thee! We've once again initiated another door key, but for now, I think I'm gonna need Luigi for this one, and we're gonna go and meet you back at that door. Hey, this platform looks familiar! Oh my gosh, there's a shop on top! They sell hot sauce, guys! And they sell hot dogs! Wait, why is the hot dog 120 coins? It's not that good! Dorky goes to this door. And we proceed onward. Oddly enough, in spite of this chapter having the more interesting architecture, I think I remember more of 7.7-3 than 7-4 for some reason. I mean, I don't know, it's weird. 
Everything about this world is weird. I mean, think about it. They have more... For whatever reason, there are more people in heaven than there are in hell, and that's weird. I mean, think about... Think about it like that. I mean, come on. That's not realistic at all! There's another shooting star- Don't make me pick, game. Don't make me pick. Oh, that was pick. Now, you know what? Screw it. Bone and cut- Bone and cut bros. Bone and cut bros. Bone and cut bros. Oh my gosh, it's a boomerang, bro. These Koopas love to throw their boo- Oh my gosh, it has to be extra slow, doesn't it? I actually prefer moving in slow motion. It's, it feels like that one game. Oh, what's it called again? Um. Oh, I already forgot the name of it. Jeez, it's super hot. Jeez, it's like super hot because everything is just moving in slow motion, and you have to, and you have like a much easier time responding to stuff. No wait, sir. Looks like he's faking it. Alright, well, I guess if I can't figure that one out, I may as well figure out this one. Oh, uh, what's this? Over there, Sector 7. I think if you flip into 3D, you can find an interesting secret. Ta-da! Another miraculous escape! M minus steam nimbies! The treasure chest contains the most valuable treasure! Me! Pray, what art thou doing in there? Dost thou know that the over there hath been overrun by beast most foul? I was practicing my escape back in God's stuff. Wait, beast most foul? Thou speak the truth, and I must hasten and hiding. Here, take this! The game is really gonna force me to... This game just wants me to get rid of the bone and cut, huh? Remember which gonna rush you when they torture you and find out where I am? Fare thee well! Not but an empty chest. Please get honest. Well, that's an interesting secret I probably never would have found. Take it that! <laughs> they come without pause. Oh, against such an assault, I cannot hope to last. Reinforcements! At last, my strength hath reached in. Please, thou must finish them. It's Bowser time, baby. Wait, hold up. Yay! Now I can destroy them even easier! There were like three of them. Rebby, thank you for saying me. I owe thee. Ah, <coughs> oh, my throat's getting sore from having to talk like... Oh, from having to talk like that one guy from Deltarune. Rebby, Granby's in trouble. Hath thou end? Love be. There are three orbs, nothing to be given lightly. And yes, these are dire times, are they not? I owe thee a big debt. Here, give it to thee. We have the red orb! Kinda reminds me of the petals from the fir from the first Paper Mario. I will go on hither and check out the other survivors. If thou survivest, let us meet again. We must aw wave as well. Um... Is there nothing else to do in this room? Honestly, the way that these NIMBYs talk is really hurting my throat, man. Okay, this is the one room that actually psyched me out as a kid because, like, I know that, like, if you're stuck, you're supposed to flip into 3D and see if there's anything that you can find, but man, as a kid, it has been so long since you actually needed to flip into 3D that I just completely blanked on it, man. Anyways, here we have a Super Luigi Galaxy! Luigi rampages in heaven and is now slightly faster than Mario, meaning you can clear this entire thing at once! Look at him run. It's beautiful. Wait, what am I missing? I knew it! The liars! The liars! And it's a unisex bathroom. Wonderful. 
Why am I disappointed? <laughs> Are the foul beasts gone? Is it safe for me to come out hither? By the way, who art thou? I'm Grimby, obviously. Grimby? Wait, doth that not sound correct? Thou cannot fool me, fiend of the underwear! Thou art trying to trick me into opening this door so thou can capture me! You're supposed to say a monster. A monster? Thou liest! No monster would ever admit to being a monster. Huh? Hold on, what that meaneth? Thou art not a monster? Hiding in the bathroom, where all the important characters are. Hello, V, I'm Yebi. Thou come to rescue me? We must rebuild yon bridge to reach Granby. Thou must give us the yellow orb. If that doth not, we shall tell how long thou spent hi hiding in thither. Hello, V. Oh, pretty, thou must not tell all I do asketh. Something. Thou should not have hidden like that base coward. Now I go help the others. Be careful if thou... Man, this game has a lot of downtime. Now, do you want to cooperate with us, buddy? Do you have your memory back? Hold a moment. I remember. I am Blueby. Finally, thou snappest out of it, eh, Dumby? Thou hast wandered into the shrine to help Granby, so thy givest thy blue orb. What? Oh, indeed, I see. Fell beast of attack from the underwear. Granby is in danger. If thou speakest the truth, then here, takest. I cannot linger hither. I must go see what is happening. Farewell, love be. Man, this guy really just camped out at the edge of the world so that he didn't have to deal with any of this, huh? Anyways, that's all the orbs, so let's go ahead and meet him back at the top! At the top? At the top? Man, my voice is cracking so hard. I never understood voice- like... What do I mean I never understood voice cracks? I mean, I get the point of having voice cracks just because you're growing up, puberty and all that jazz, but like... I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Jeez, get him already, Luigi! Oh, I could have gotten ten times on that weapon. Whatever, okay. So anyways, voice cracks. Uh, those always just sound weird, and I guess you have them more as you grow up, but man, it just hurts my throat. Please cut that out. Please just cut, just cut that part out. Just post editing me, please. Please listen, I'm begging you, cut that part out. Guys, I... I have a bit of a confession to make. I think I'm lost. Where is the town?! Okay, well, in my quest to figure out where we came from, I found this! I literally found a random pipe in an area that I don't even remember being in. This is the area with the guy who had amnesia. I found this faster than I found the exit. That's a gigabyte. It's an evil skull that sold through this guy's max HP is 6, attack is 2. It will only take 1 damage per attack. Gigabytes are even more annoying than megabytes. No one knows where they came from or where they go. Two, three, four, that's five. Wait, no, that wasn't five. That's five, I think. And that's six. Okay, cool. Alright, what's in this, baby? Free stuff! A cooking disc. You know I'm only gonna make, like, three co dishes in the game, right? And maybe, maybe, maybe if this game tempts me enough, I'll actually try making all the dishes in one go. Like, maybe I'll live stream it if I ever buy a computer that's, you know, beefy enough to actually be able to handle a live stream. I'll cook it all. Cook- literally host a cooking stream. Oh, that'd be funny, but no, I'm not going to do that. I mean, I might. Depending on how many people actually ask for me to sit there, go to an area, buy all the items that I need, and then go back, keeping in mind that I can only hold up to ten items at a time, and mostly just keeping them in the inventory. But, I mean, if you want me to make every dish in the game, go ahead. I mean, how many are there? There's only 96 of them. Oh, that's why I couldn't find it! I had to talk to you! Yes, please. Thank you, Canadian child. I'd just like to point out the fact that this single-handedly extended the recording by... Uh, at least a couple gigabytes. Anyways, you remember this platform, right? We gotta insert the blue one, then the yellow, then the red. 
Do they want to suppress A and minus at the same time, or are they good? Oh, okay, I thought it would have been a cool reference to have us suppress A and mi minus and- Wait, what was it? One and minus at the same time, but whatever, don't do that. Nice one, bros. And it's rainbow! Grammy is in grave danger, but we are all so weak. We must ask you to save us, Tim, for us. Okay. <laughs> that audio clip. Okay. Okay, we'll do, Gramps. Okay, I'm sorry. That, that was so cute. Ah, uh, it's such a shame Mario had to die. Hold it! How'd you guys get in here? I thought we destroyed the bridge. Shut the sign trap, foul one. Speak as doth my father farewell. If that were such a whisker on his face, I shall end you all! What? You little brat! Hey, you guys, fall in! Look at all the free experience! So, you wanna see how scared we can be, little girl? We'll take a good look! Oh dear, there seems to be a lot of them. I didn't know there were so many left. Well, I mean, we are talking about every single person who's gone to hell, so... I shall handle them. You. At last my strength hath returned to me. And now these fiends shall reap the grim harvest of my NIMBY fury! The hour is nigh. NIMBY Brigade, art thou ready? YAY! I hate it. That should be the feeds of the underwear. NAY! Oh, all tough because you got an army, huh? Well, let's see how you do against mine. You're going down. D did he just slide away? Thou art toast! And now, Nimmy Brigade, ahem. Charge! No mercy! Casually gonna pass by all the free experience. Unfortunately, uh, you can't actually interact with any of the sky-based ones, but hey, you know what you do get? Free chest! Oh, that's just- that's just insult to injury game! They're already dead! There's nothing here. And before I can even take one hint of damage, I simply dodged through them all, because, I mean, this place was kind of pointless. The whole point is that we gotta save Gramps. Hey, look at that Ultra Shroom! We're about to hit a point in the game where that just stops healing me to full HP, but hey, anyways, Luigi! Oh, oh no! Father, father, art thou alright? Love me, thou should not have come freely from here. <laughs> a touching scene, to be sure. Hey, you're the boss of all those crazy guys who escaped the underwear, aren't you? You look ridiculous. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I assure you, my name is Bone Chill. I am something of an evil celebrity in circles of the underwear. You look like you came from World 1, da you look like you came from Chapter 3, buddy. That may be, but my father shall never give you the pure heart, so give us stuff. Oh dear, ignorant child, you really don't know a thing, do you? How charming. What dost thou mean? I speak of the pure heart, and I speak of you, love be. It is you! What sayest thou? The pure heart was hidden indigenously to keep it away from evil sorts like me. Granby changed the pure heart into a nimby that he called his own daughter. <laughs> That's just silly. M mother and father. Oh, Crisis, you really think Granby pays an ounce of attention to you out of love? That's. No, thou liest. Father, sayest something. Love me. <laughs> <laughs> the old food can weigh the sins of the others, but not his own. It cannot be. Lovely, we can talk later. Right now, just get Granby to safety. Quickly! Okay. Many thanks for delivering the fear heart. Once I deal with you, no one can stop me. I shall be invincible! Please. As your game ends, remember it is an honor to have it ended by my talons. 
Anyway, meet the only ice type boss in the game. Uh, this is just disappointing. It moves that slowly. I've seen bullet bills that move slower than faster than that. Come on, man. Oh, well, okay. I'll admit he's doing some damage, but not a lot anyways. Anyways, we can... Oh my god, I, I hate this. I hate this fight. Okay. I hate this. Come on. Alright, there we go. Deal 16 damage immediately, and immediately just start comboing him right there. Yeah, Luigi absolutely annihilates this fight, dude. Look at this. Look at that. Luigi's not even trying at this point. He's just comboing this guy. Wait, hold up. No, I gotta inspect him. Barely made it. That's Bone Chill, a frigid boss that escaped from his prison from the underwear. <laughs> Max HP is 80, attack is 4. Bone Chill will only be hurt by attacks to his head. To hit his head, you need to use Luigi's super jump or throws icicles. Bone Chill's icy breath can feed you into a solid hero sickle. I don't know why, but I get the feeling he's related to Granby and the Nimbies. I wonder if he was once a... If he was once a Nimby himself? Yeah. It's just too bad this guy gets so easily comboed into the dirt. How impossible! How could you puny worms destroy a master of the cold and dark? As much as I love the fight and its concept, it is very disappointing. Disappointingly easy. Thou hast done a fine job. Thou hast saved our realm. Father, the words of that thing were lies, yeah? Thou... And mother are my parents. Well, love me. Love me! Mother! I had not received word of your safe arrival, so I came looking. Are you well? Speak to me now, mother. Father, art thou verily my parents? Oh, wait a minute. Why do you- What?! Pretty mother, speak the truth to me. Luffy, you are not really our children. So, so it's true? The pure heart was, was always in danger of falling into evil hands, darling. So Grams and I decided to transform it into a shape that no one would suspect. And it was me?
Luigi, you insensitive prick!